Android has a built-in feature to help you troubleshoot whether or not your third-party apps and games are causing an issue with your device. So if you've noticed that your Galaxy S22 has started to overheat, performance has started to lag and stutter, or maybe you're just having an issue playing audio over a Bluetooth headset, we can figure out whether or not it's your third-party applications causing the issue with the Galaxy S22 safe mode feature. One of the things many people like about Android is how customizable the operating system can be. This is, in part, thanks to the way Android has been built as it allows for some very heavy changes from these apps. For example, you can replace this home screen here with a third-party custom launcher, but if the one you're using has been poorly optimized, then you could see unexpected issues each time you're looking at the phone's home screen. Now, installing a poorly coded application or game can cause your CPU or GPU usage to spike which could cause things like overheating, poor performance, or just a horrible experience with battery life. So in today's video, I want to show you a useful feature for Android called Safe Mode. When accessed, Android will disable any and all third-party applications that have been installed through traditional methods. This means the only apps and services that can run while the Samsung Galaxy S22 is in safe mode, are the ones that were pre-installed. We can access this special safe mode by first bringing up the power menu. Whether you do that by pressing and holding the power button or using the software button is up to you. Once we see this power menu right here, you're gonna to want to long press on the power off option. You can see now that if you tapped power off, it's going to ask you, do you want to power off? But if you long press, then that button is going to switch to a safe mode button. And we can boot the Galaxy S22 into safe mode by tapping that big green button when it appears. After we tap that, we're going to see the Galaxy S22 reboot on its own. And it's going to boot us back into Android, except this time you're going to see this safe mode watermark at the bottom left of the screen. This is a big reminder to tell you that your device is currently in safe mode. We're also going to have this notification here as a reminder. And you're going to see your third party applications and games grayed out and not accessible like these other applications are. So you can see things like OneDrive, Game Launcher, the clock, the camera, messaging, the phone, the gallery. These are all pre installed applications and we can still access these by opening up those apps. However, our third-party applications and games, such as these and these and these, they're all grayed out as they cannot be launched. It is basically a visual reminder to say, hey, remember you are in safe mode. If you try to open those, you're going to get an error message saying that you cannot access that. So the goal of safe mode is purely a troubleshooting one. Meaning if you're noticing the smartphone starting to overheat when using a simple app like the calculator or the calendar, then you're going to want to boot the Galaxy S22 into safe mode and see if the same thing happens then. So after you have booted into safe mode, Use the phone like you did before and see if you notice those same issues. 
or maybe you've noticed that the performance slows to a crawl an hour or so after you have rebooted the smartphone. Then you're going to want to test the same thing while the phone is in safe mode. The idea is if the issues are no longer happening while the device is booted into this special mode, then it's one of the third party applications or games that you have installed that's causing the issue. But if you notice the same thing happens while the phone is in safe mode like this, then the issue is likely caused by something deeper in the Android operating system and a factory data reset is likely needed in order to fix the problem. So if you're ever noticing something is wrong with your phone, it is not working the way it usually does. The first thing that I always recommend is that you boot the phone into safe mode and see if you can replicate that issue. Many times safe mode will fix the issues people are having again with something like performance or battery life or even overheating. And booting into safe mode can show you whether or not the cause is from one of your third party applications. Because many people have hundreds of third party apps installed. Or whether it's the actual operating system that's causing the issue. Now, once you are done testing and troubleshooting in safe mode, we can exit safe mode on the Galaxy S22 in a couple of methods. First, if you remember, we have this notification here at the top telling us that safe mode is on and that we can tap the notification to turn safe mode off. Now, what happens if we tap that notification? The phone is going to turn off and it's going to reboot back into Android. Except this time, since we did not tell the phone to boot into safe mode, we're going to be booting into Android normally. But we can do that with a normal reboot as well. We can simply bring up the power menu, tell the phone to restart, and then, and then when the phone boots back up, you're not going to see that watermark there anymore. And now that we're booted back into Android, we no longer see that watermark and our third party applications are in full color, meaning that we can open them and use them like normal. So that is how to boot the Samsung Galaxy S22 both into safe mode as well as how to exit safe mode on this device.